Okay, so in this video we're going to try and find the Laurent series for the cosecant function of z. Now, some people will ask why can't we just call it the Taylor series? Well, if we try and find the Taylor series for the cosecant of, let's call it x, which I've graphed here, if you want to find it at the point zero, which is also called the Maclaurin series, you'll see here this graph of it, it goes off to positive infinity here, and goes off to negative infinity here. Because basically cosecant of x is one over sine of x, and obviously sine of zero equals zero. So therefore we've got a one over zero situation. Now, sometimes we could maybe go for a Taylor series here, but the limit as x approaches zero does not exist. So it's limit, as x approaches zero from the positive side of one over sine of x or cosecant of x, you can see this approaches positive infinity. Now the limit as x approaches zero from the negative side, do you see this one here? So we just call it cosecant here. These are the same terms, but just to see that we're doing the same thing. So this one approaches negative infinity. So and as it approaches zero from both sides, the squeeze rule is not going to work. So therefore we can say that the limit as x approaches zero of one over sine of x, this limit does not exist. So therefore we're going to find what's called the Laurent series. So in the Laurent series, we'll probably find our first term is going to be something like or one over z or something like that. So now I'm going to go through the algebra and how to find this Laurent series of the cosecant function. So I'm going to take this off the board and then we're going to find it. So we know that the cosecant function, so cosecant of x is the same as one over sine of x. So to find our Laurent series of this, we could still use the Taylor series for the sine function at zero. Now the Taylor series of sine of x, so sine of x at x equals zero, so our Taylor approximation for this term is x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 5 over 5 factorial, and then we do one more term so then we've got a minus x to the 7 over 7 factorial. So we've got x here to all the negative, uh, to all the odd powers. So x to the 1 over 1 factorial as well, if you like. And then this will be an alternating all the way off to infinity. So that's our Taylor series for the sine function. So now what we want to do is, if we want to find the Laurent series, so now we'll go into complex numbers, so we'll use our term z. So that equals 1 over sine of z. So that then equals the reciprocal of this term here. So that becomes 1 over z minus z cubed over 6 plus z to the 5, 5 factorial 120, and then minus z to the 7, 7 factorial, 720 times 7, 5040, and so on. So now we need to do polynomial long division, and that should lead us to our Laurent series for the cosecant function. Okay, so I'm going to take this off the board, and then I'm going to find uh, a setup to do the polynomial long division for this function. Okay, so that's our setup. So usual rules apply for polynomial long division. We take the first term and this first term here and do one divided by our z and that will give us the first part of our answer. So let's just do that for now. So one over z. And then the next thing we do is we take this term and then distribute it and multiply it out by all these terms here. So one over z times z gives us one. One over z times minus z cubed over 6, that's going to give me 
minus z squared over 6. So basically all these indices are going to drop by 1. Everything else is going to remain the same. Coefficients will just stay as they are. And also the signs will stay the same as well. So I'm just going to write those in now. Okay, then the next stage, what we're going to do now is we subtract this line and take this line away and write our answer underneath. So 1 minus 1 is 0. That's what you should always get in your first calculation. Here we've got no terms, so we just imagine there's a 0 there. So now we've got 0 minus minus z squared over 6. So that's going to give us positive z squared over 6. Same here, we've got a, mi a 0 minus a positive z to the 4 over 120, so now we just keep flipping the sides. Okay, so now what we do is we take this term and divide it by this term. So now we've got z squared over 6 divided by z that's just give, give me z over 6, and it's going to be a positive. So positive z. So we've got our z over 6. Now what we need to do is distribute this z over 6 with all these terms. So as before, we should get the same term in this column, which we do. z times uh, z over 6 gives us z squared over 6. Now let's distribute it with this one. So now we're going to get minus z to the 4. And 6 times 6 is 36. OK, now distribute with this one. Now we're going to get z to the 6. And 6 times 120, 720. Now this term here, we're not going to calculate it on this uh, example, so you can see exactly what we're doing, but this one will just be a little bit of a step too far. We're not going to go with the z to the 8 column. We're just going to go up to this term here. OK, so usual business as we did before. Subtract, write our answer here. So z squared over 6 minus z squared over 6, term disappears. That's good. Now we need to work out with our coefficients first. So minus z over 4, minus minus z over 4 over 36. So we we'll take our coefficient, minus 1 over 120. And then 2 minuses is a plus, and then add 1 over 36. OK, now we could just plug this in the calculator, or we can just work it out ourselves by hand. But I've got my calculator here, so I'm just going to plug the numbers in and see what we get. So minus 1 over 120 plus 1 over 36, that gives me 7 over 360. So that's my coefficient here for my z to the 4. And then this one here, I've got 1 over 5040, and then minus a plus, so it's going to be another negative, and I've got 1 over 720 as my coefficient. Now this one we could do in our heads if we like, because we know 720 times 7 will give us this. So that's going to give us over 5040, we've got 1, minus, and then 1 times 7 is 7, minus 6 over 5040. So let's try and divide straight through by 6. So we've got minus 1, 6 is into that, go 8 and 4. So minus 1 over 840. So we could just leave the 1 out and just write straight in with the z6. Okay. So now what I'm going to do now, take this off the board, and then we'll go with our next term. So now we've got 7z to the 4 over 360 divided by z. That's going to give us positive z cubed over 360. OK, now what we need to do now is distribute these term with all of these. And as we're going up to the sixth, we just need it with this one and this one. 
So our first term will repeat what we've got here. And this one times this one, that's going to give us 7z cubed times z cubed is 7z to the 6. And 360 times 6, 2160. Okay, let's just subtract. So bring our answer up here. So 7z to the 4 over 360 minus that, that's going to give us 0. And now our next one we're going to have is minus 1 over 840. And then plus 7 over 2160. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that, but that's 2160. Okay, let's plug that into the calculator. That gives me 31 over 15,120. Okay, so then my next bit here, which I've just got to carry on over here, I'm just left with that now with 31z to the 6 over 15120. So same business as we did before. I'm now going to divide this by z. So then I'm going to get plus 31z to the 5 over 15,120. Okay, just make sure that's a z. Okay, and then there's nothing else to do because we've got our fourth term here. Multiplying along, we just end up trying to find a z to the eighth term anyway. So now I'm going to take this off the board, write down our answer. So cosecant of z is 1 over z plus z over 6 plus 7z cubed over 360 plus 31z to the 5 over 15,120. And you could go on and on. So that is our Laurent series for the cosecant function.